Try it and maybe it will become the life that you have always dreamed of living. We're talking about an awesome career and there's no better way than decide on what you want to do in your life and get hands-on experience. It's called uh, Pathways to Success and it invites students to do just that. And we have Dr. Gianna O'Hara, Gianna O'Hara, and Dr. Nicholas Blackstone here to tell us all about it. Nice to have you both. Nice Thanks to be here. Us. Pleasure. So we've been talking about this event for a few years and it's been growing and growing and I'm sure students walk away with incredible uh, you know, experiences and we'll talk about that in a sec, but let's talk about the types of professionals that they'll actually be exposed to there when, when they go and visit. Certainly. Um, so obviously we have physicians and nursing, but medicine is made up of so much more than just that, yeah. which is our goal to kind of get the kids exposed to that. So we have respiratory therapy, physical therapy, occupational therapy. Um, this year we are adding uh, different types of technologists, so EKG technicians, radiology technicians, um, things that we haven't had the event before, and a whole plethora of other people, pharmacists, dietitians, etc. And I know how popular this is because you were talking about a waiting list, and we're going to get to that and what you need in just a second. But I always like to find out how the reactions are, right? That spark that you see in some of the students that come in. Tell us about that. So one of the first events that I did, I'm all new to this, and uh, I was given a tour and an eighth grader was like, yeah, I want to be a surgeon. And wow. she had a path, she was ready to go, she wanted to know everything, she asked 100,000 questions. And it was like, that's the type of stuff that we're living for yeah. because now we can get them in, we can get them connected, <laughs> and we can get them on the path early, which mm -hmm. is the most important part. Must right. have been so rewarding for you to be able to answer those questions. 100% because right? I was just in that yeah. scenario exactly. not too long ago. And, you know, not every student maybe wants to be exactly a surgeon, but to your point, there's this constellation of positions that are required to, to complete these, these medical uh, procedures etc. So talk about the types of hands-on activities. Mm -hmm. You've brought, um, would you call it a dummy or something else? A dummy. A dummy, yeah. okay. <laughs> so you were, you know, it's used for intubation. Describe what intubation is. So intubation just being putting in an airway to help somebody breathe on a ventilator system, um, which <coughs> we will have a mock demonstration of at our event. Um, and, you know, a lot of different professions going into needing to intubate somebody. Mm -hmm. So not only the physician, the nurse, the <laughs> pharmacist, the respiratory therapist, uh, other people to do chest compressions. And one of the things to kind of highlight that we're doing new this year is we're going to actually do a mock uh, code, which is when oh, someone's wow. heart stops all of a sudden, who and what types of medical specialties are involved in actually saving that patient's life. So they're going to actually be able to see that, okay, it's not just doctors and nurses involved in the most emergent part of our job, but it's the respiratory therapist, it's the pharmacist giving the drugs, it's the nurse tech doing um, adequate chest compressions, which is the most impart, important part of a code. So it really kind of hits home. We're kind of excited for yeah. that kind of visual stimuli. I think every student ha should have the opportunity to do this. Mm -hmm. And it's become really popular, and you need donations to keep this going, right? You want to be able much. to offer this to everybody. Yeah, very much. Um, we are basically down to our last dollar, so to speak. So our event in October is fully funded, which is fabulous. But going forward, we have no <coughs> funding left. So if this is something that people see mm -hmm. valuable to the community, because I certainly feel that it is, um, all of our questions, it'll be, I think, up on the screen at some point, but can be directed to Ina Rios. Her email, as well as her phone number, will be up there. If anybody wants to donate even $20, $5, yeah. I mean, anything helps us. Because it doesn't cost that much to run the event either mm -hmm. each time. So any little bit that we can uh, get will go tremendous ways. And we yeah. ended up get you know we end up getting it back, right? When they yeah. go on to college yep. and they True. stay here in 100%. Tucson and they, they help save all our of lives us. maybe. Right. <laughs> in the future, right? mm -hmm. I have a heart attack all of a sudden one of these students is helping me out. And yeah. so let's just reiterate how important it is to have these types of programs and expose kids early on to this uh, this type of experience. I mean just talk about that again. From from my perspective, I didn't even know that there was other things in hospitals mm -hmm. that you could do besides being a doctor or a nurse. And so just that alone lets people know that, hey, you don't have to go to school for 10 years to work in a hospital. You don't have to go and be a nurse to be in a hospital. You can go and get a two-year degree and be a respiratory therapist <laughs> and be a vital, vital part of the medical uh, community and a huge part in somebody's life. I would imagine those misconceptions aren't just for kids, but parents may be saying the same thing at home as well. Yeah. 
right? That we can't afford college. We can't afford you to go on to get a master's degree and a PhD and doctorate and stuff like that. Yeah. And so this kind of gives you that in between and says, hey, I could be a respiratory therapist yeah. and I could be the one doing the intubation and, and mm -hmm. bagging the patient and saving that person's yeah. life. And I don't have to dedicate my whole youth to doing that if that's not something you're interested in. Right. Not it's only fantastic. that, but it's great. And you get to meet these great doctors too. I mean, they're genuinely great <laughs> people. And uh, it's great be seeing uh, all the different doctors come through our show and then <laughs> yes. they go on and yes. become, you know, full fledged. And, and it's nice to have you here as always. So yes. thank you. Thank, thank you, you guys. So we appreciate thank you. you. The a Pathway to Success event is happening on October 16th at the South campus. If you'd like to find out more information or to attend the events in the future, you can visit medicine.arizona.edu to RSVP. And again, <coughs> we really need your donations.